Hello Capricorn, welcome to Reading Journey. I'm Journey and I'm doing your reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising sign of Capricorn. Welcome Capricorn. This is where you will find your reading every Sunday and Merry Christmas and Happy Hanukkah to those of you uh, who celebrate. If you're watching this at another time, do not worry yourself. God knows exactly where you are right now at this time, so you don't have to worry about it, okay? We are doing The Rose Oracle by Rebecca Campbell. All right, my loves, let's get into it. Let's see what we got here. All right, give me one moment, Capricorn. Let me just get a little insight of where God's taking us on this. So divine. Wow, a lot of people are getting this. All right, Capricorn, I feel like right now you're in a place of peace, and that's good. You're in a, in a, in a place of peace, kind of basking in um, the energy that you're, you're um, experience, experiencing at this present time. Feels very peaceful, very peaceful place. I feel like you are in a place where you're very feeling very motherly. Um, people may be coming to you for advice seeking to you for a motherly instinct even your children may be reaching out to you needing um, just a little hug from mama a connection with mama or daddy just needing that connection that bonding time so you may be giving off some really loving energy at this time and you are attracting people to this loving energy <laughs> causing people to give you. You may even be in the spirit of this season. Those of you who are watching this during the holiday season. But definitely um, people are feeling the um, attractiveness of your energy. If you have Virgo in your chart, you may want to check out Virgo for your Virgo moon or Virgo rising. Virgo is also exuberating these same energies here, these two here. <laughs> Excuse me for the sniffles. And right now is a great time. You're just in a, in a loving energy, feeling very devoted. Someone may have just gotten married or engaged, okay? That's for like one person. But for the rest of you, you're in an energy of just giving off love and light. You're in a very peaceful energy. Definitely bask in it, enjoy it, embrace it, explore it. Some of you may even be exploring your um, sexual side. During this time, you may be wanting to try some new moves, you know, in the bedroom with your partner. You may be trying to, um, feeling, very, feeling very attractive. Some of you may even lost some weight, so therefore you're feeling more confident at this time. And that's always nice and good. So glad to see that and hear that. But it looks very good. Um... Someone also may be trying to manifest a person to them. I would just say be careful about that. I'll say this, be careful what you wish for. Are you sure that's what you want to manifest in your life? Are you sure that's the person you want to manifest into your life? Um, if you're going outside of the laws of the universe, meaning trying to entice another person's partner or husband or wife, you may want to think about that before you go do that because there is karma that comes along with it, you know. Not judging, just letting you know what could happen. It might not be so great. It might not be quite what you wished for. You might be thinking you're going after a, because what they're bringing to me is a sheep's, uh, looking like a sheep in wolf's clothing is, is what's coming to mind so you may think you are gravitating to something that is uh, going to be good right something that's going to serve you but in actuality it is the devil in sheep's clothing okay so just be aware of that all right so let's see your reading is pretty much straightforward capricorn look here all right you got sacred water here so let's take a look yeah so again i just really feel like you're just really um 
that you're you're in a beautiful loving energy someone may want to if you have the ability to get to a hot springs do that or maybe take a nice spiritual bath somebody wants but i feel like this is about hot springs or something not everybody but if you're near one go one you're due for one or if you've gone before in the past definitely take advantage of that it's going to open up some more insight for you you're going to get more clarity by doing so um but it looks good it looks really good there's not much else for me to say whatever you're doing right now um it's good capricorn i mean there's i mean there's really not much else for me to say you're on the right path it looks good um Again, people are going to be attracted to you, so be aware of that, too. You don't want to invite anything in that is of a darker nature. Because this is a great light that you're exuberating right now. Yeah, it's very similar to uh, Virgo. Uh, uh, and, or is it Taurus? If you got a Taurus moon, you might want to, or Taurus rising, you might want to check out uh, the Taurus reading as well. See if those Taurus or Virgo resonate. Um but definitely you're giving off a, a lot of good attractive energy people are going to attract to you you're going to get garbage along with the good so just be aware some of it might be looking like it's the right thing but test it make sure it is right okay because just because they talk a good game doesn't mean it is all good okay okay you may get some trick a, a trick coming along with all this good energy because you're attractive you're you're drawing these people in you're drawing it all right so i'm gonna end it there i know that wasn't much capricorn but i mean you're in a good energy i like cards i like readings like this because that means that you're in a good place i like to see people in a good place right um instead of all the drama nobody wants all of that i know you don't want all that but if you found this reading to be helpful, definitely hit that like button. Consider subscribing so that you can find more content. And um, I will see you again on next Sunday. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.